the time to relax by the fire and to read. No trip to Vietnam, Sandy. However, one trip to Tauranga for my niece's wedding. It was a beautiful wedding and I enjoyed every bit of it. It was a great family get together. Time to meet up with those I don't often catch up with. So what did I study? Firstly, I reviewed digital citizenship. Students belong to families, schools, sport and other local communities. They also belong to an online digital community where they meet others in a variety of places. Just as we need to know our rights and responsibilities in our local communities, students need to learn them for the digital world, just as we do ourselves. However, we have adult brains that help us to negotiate this realm. Children need our wisdom and guidance, I believe. This doesn't mean being paranoid about safety. Safety is important. However, we need to help students to participate and contribute online with integrity and respect. We can guide them so that they engage in this exciting world effectively, wisely and creatively. I also believe that we need to engage with them and discuss their online activities supportively. Being judgmental will just drive their activities underground. I then spent some time exploring social media. Students need to learn how to use social media by doing. They already blog and they have started to use Google Docs. There are gaming communities that some of them belong to. A few have a Facebook account they use from home. On a site such as Facebook, some of them may feel hidden and think they can say what they like. I read that a statement posted online can be harder to erase than a tattoo. We are in an age when once we post, we have no idea who has copied it and passed it along. There is an educational lookalike called Edomodo, which is a protected community. I think this is one good place for students to learn how to use social media well. Digital literacy was another area that I explored. This involves literacy as we know it, reading, writing, speaking, listening. However, our students now need to be critical, wise thinkers around a literacy that involves text, images, music, video, the type we see on many web pages. What better way to learn to be critical readers of digital media than to start creating your own, breaking down the elements, so that in the creating you come to appreciate excellent digital media and the techniques that it uses to persuade us to a certain point of view. Students can learn to decode and analyse the multimedia that pervades our lives. An area I chose to explore more is digital storytelling, using still images, text, narration and video to tell a story. Once students wrote for the teacher, and then it was lost to oblivion. Well, mine was anyway. Today, students can write and reach a much wider audience. Digital storytelling involves a number of skills and key competencies. It is something that personally engages me, and I want to try it in my classroom. Gradually, you understand. And I know that my students are ready to take on that challenge. 
students will be engaged in research, planning, storyboarding, gathering images, music, filming, editing and producing. They need to learn about copyright and creative commons. They will organise, write, speak, listen, view, review, be involved in drama, art and music. They will learn technical skills with the cameras and computers. As they become fluent in producing this type of media, they will be learning how to become critical, reflective viewers. They will need to problem solve, make decisions, be reflective and critical thinkers, develop persistence and organisation, self-management. They will work with others, develop leadership and team skills. Being involved in such an activity can only develop their self-confidence and self-esteem. There are a number of ways digital stories can be told, and while I intend starting simply, I hope that eventually we will be producing some interesting projects. I will need to explore that with my class, as they will have their own ideas. Lastly, one more item I began exploring gaming. I have not been a fan, however some educators say it is going to play an important part in education. I would like to keep an open mind on this. It is one way to be involved in digital storytelling and I have followed a teacher who has used it in his class. I have explored the site that he has used and I would like at some point to give it a try with my class. It turns the students again from consumers into producers and involves many of the skills I've mentioned previously. I am not a natural in gaming and did receive a badge for perseverance on this site. I hope my students will be able to provide me with the teaching I need in this area. Thank you to the board for allowing me to apply for this 10 week sabbatical. I am also grateful to the staff who have plugged the gaps while I was away, and especially Rocky, who has kept my class engaged and enjoying their learning while I've been away. I have missed them, and I look forward to meeting up again with them in Term 3. I'm also grateful to the Ministry of Education for this opportunity. I have relished every moment of it. And while I've never stirred out, I learned so much from other educators, firstly their books, but then the online digital community. I can vouch for the importance, plus the length, breadth and depth that the digital world offers for learning and professional development.